as you guys can see, I'm in my kitchen. And the reason I'm in my kitchen is because one question I get a lot is about nutrition and diet. What a, certain, what a person should eat for this, what a person should eat for that. So what I'm going to do today is I'm going to show you exactly what I'm eating meal for meal. So it's going to be a full day of eating for me as I'm preparing for the 2020 Mr. Olympia. This is a muscle mix of protein that actually has a ton of well. So obviously meal one was good for them way, right? The digestion is better. So what we're going to add in another 75 grams of really carb source as well. What's going on everybody? I have to be 212 Pro and Gasp Athlete Sean Clarita here. First and foremost, hope everyone is healthy and safe right now. We're obviously going through some trying times, but it looks like things are getting better. So hopefully we'll get back to some type of normality um, pretty soon. So you guys are gonna follow me through the day. You're gonna see what each meal looks like, what it consists of, and a brief explanation of why I'm eating that particular meal. So I hope you guys enjoy this. Stay tuned. All right guys, so here it is, meal number one. Um, so. For me personally, my meal number one isn't your typical, you know, eggs and oatmeal. Um, and that's for, for various reasons. And I'll get into that exactly. So right now, my meal number one consists of, as you can see, I'm doing 200 grams of white jasmine rice, as well as seven ounces of, of ground beef. But uh, you can see my ground beef isn't like your normal chopped ground beef. Mine is actually made into a meatloaf. Um, it's pretty much consisting of the same thing. Ground beef, onion powder, um, garlic powder, a little bit of breadcrumb just to bind it together, and obviously a little bit of no sugar ketchup on the end. Uh, like I said, my breakfast isn't your typical eggs and uh, oatmeal, and the reasons why is because um, right now I'm in my growing season. I'm trying to put on as much size as possible, so I need a lot of uh, heavy, dense meals. And I do a lot of gra a lot of red meat in my diet year round. Um, so my first meal days are always going to be a little bit of ground beef, and usually my last meal is ground beef as well. Um, also, too, I get anywhere between 8 and 10 hours a night of sleep, and by the time I get up, I'm absolutely starving. And honestly, just having a little bit of eggs and oatmeal for me doesn't work, because if I eat that within like literally half an hour, 45 minutes, I'm starving again. So again, you know, I want to make my, my, my breakfast one of my denser, heavier meals throughout the day. So I start my meals off with ground beef and uh, white rice. And as you can see, obviously, either with or before or after, I'm also going to take an array of supplements, all from NutriBio, consisting of, obviously, my vitamins, my minerals, all the healthy stuff uh, for my immune system itself. So that is it, guys. That is meal number one. So I'm going to go ahead and take this down. And after this, after I eat this meal, obviously, take my supplements. I'm going to just kind of relax, check some emails, and then prepare for meal number two. So I'll see you guys again at meal number two. Alright guys, here we are, meal number two. Pretty simple yet again, 200 grams of white rice, and then this time we're doing seven ounces of, of ground turkey, made into a meatloaf as well. So obviously meal one was 200 grams of white rice with seven ounces of ground beef, 90% ground beef, uh, made into a meatloaf. Meal number two is gonna be 200 grams of white rice and seven ounces of ground turkey, made into a meatloaf, 93% ground turkey. All right guys, so here we are, meal number three, and this is actually going to be my pre-training meal. So it's a pretty simple meal here. I'm doing 140 grams of oats, as well as 60 grams of protein shake. This is a muscle matrix protein. This actually has a combination of both whey isolate and casein protein. So I'm gonna have both of these about an hour and a half or so before I train. Um, if you, if you, I personally don't like to have a lot of food in my stomach, um, so I don't do a big meal. I need something that's gonna easily digest. Especially when I'm training, I don't want to feel it in my stomach when I'm, you know, lifting heavy, whatever. And if you remember what I mentioned earlier, when I said about not having oats for breakfast because I get pretty hungry right after. So this is actually a perfect meal. I'll have this now. It'll digest within an hour, and this way I'm ready to go train. And while I'm training, I'm going to sip on also an amino, uh, aminos, which is going to be Intrablast, which is a combination of um, BCAAs as well as EAAs, obviously for recovery, hydration, and energy, along with Supercarb which is another form of carbohydrates, HBCD. All right, so again, meal number three here, 140 grams of dry oats, which I mix with water, uh, 60 grams coming from my actual shake, about an hour and a half or so, and then ready to train. All right, guys, so that is it for some training. Just finish up some back and biceps, and immediately after every training session, I'm going to have my staple, which is always going to be 
60 grams of whey isolated protein. Again, uh, from NutriBio, this is a faster digesting protein, so anything I want to have rapid training is important. So the quicker the digest digestion, the better. And I'm also going to add in another 75 grams of, remember the carb source as well, HBCD, into my shake. Um, so I'm going to have this right now, drive home, shower up, and then we're going to have my post uh, meal, post training meal within about 45 minutes to an hour. All right, guys, so it's been about an hour since I've had my post workout shake. Um, and now we're going to have meal number five, which is my post workout meal. Uh, it's going to consist of about 300 grams of pasta and another seven ounces of ground beef. Again, 90% ground beef. Um, just changing things up, getting kind of boring of just using rice all the time. And again, I wanted something a little bit more denser. So, pasta, pasta and beef at the training has been an, has been one of my staples this entire off season for the most part. And um, likely we'll use it in the beginning of my prep and toward the end we'll probably pull it out or so. Um, but again, this is it. Meal number five. Again, 300 grams of pasta and seven ounces of ground beef, 90%. All right, guys. So it is midnight, and it's time for my final meal, meal number six of the night. And it's going to be a shake. And not just any shake. It's actually going to be a mass gainer. Nutribio is an extreme mass. Now, I've tried so many mass gainers in the past and from various companies and just wasn't happy with it at all. For various reasons, either the taste was horrible, it didn't mix well, um, digestion was horrible, it was just full of junk. Again, not happy with whatsoever. Very happy with Extreme Mass Nutribio for various reasons. Um, the quality of the actual product is amazing, tastes good, digests very well. Again, I'm able to have this at midnight and go right to bed without any type of issues with my stomach, um, and, and tastes great as well. Now, with this actual product, I'm actually getting 650 calories. Uh, 99 grams of carbs, 53 grams of protein, and the best part about it is only 6 grams of fat and 6 grams of sugar. That's why I, I know a lot of people are against um, mass gainers for that particular reason, because they're full of sugar, full of junk, and the quality is horrible. Again, you're getting nothing but the best quality here uh, with Extreme Mass. Again, I'm very happy with it. Um, for me personally, uh, like I said, I've always used mass gainers because I've always been a person that's been a hard gainer, naturally. Um, when I first started competing, I was only eating three meals a day. You know, I started well, I started this sport when I was in college. I had three meals a day. It was breakfast, lunch, and dinner. And the only meals I was eating was whatever I can get my hands on at, at, in the actual cafeteria. And, you know, a couple years later, I started, you know, bumping my food up a little bit more. But, again, I don't like to eat. But it is part of my job, and it is what I do, so I have to get the meals in. And with the extreme ass, um, this, again, is a very quick and effective way to get more calories in. Um, Going into this 2020 Olympia, the goal is to come in bigger and better than I was last year. So we're slowly going to keep increasing the food as much as I possibly can before you pull the trigger and sometime in June and July before we start prepping for, for that show. Um, so that's it for today, guys. Uh, you guys saw all my meals for the day. Nothing special, nothing, you know, extraordinary, just basic foods. You know, good, good carbs, good protein. Um, and that's pretty much all you got to do. Nothing special again. And I hope you guys all enjoyed this. Uh, I know you guys have been asking about it. We finally made it happen for you. So I, I thank you guys for tuning in, watching this, and I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you got something out of it. So I hope to see you guys all soon. And again, please, everyone be safe. And looking forward to seeing all of you very soon.